there's a sweet new trend in backyard agriculture that's swarming the nation. And whether you notice or not, it's having a great impact on just about everyone in Alaska. In tonight's Harvesting Alaska, KTVA 11's Shannon Ballard finds out what all the buzz is about. Popular in the cultural trend towards sustainability are backyard livestock, urban chicken coops, and bees. So you're going to have to get yourself into that. That's the buzz at Windy Willow Farm in Palmer. I'm allergic to just about everything, and I was buying raw honey. Dina Tangwe started keeping these tiny workers six years ago when she first heard that local honey could help with her allergies. This is Madam B's bordello in here. But now she can't seem to kick the habit. I literally love these girls. Just love them. What do you think, ladies? April is the start of honeybee season in Alaska. This year, Dina is hiving more than ever, about 50,000 brazen buzzers. And these girls are gonna move into this hive. And this is, seems like a kind of a shocking thing to do to them, but it works. Dina isn't alone in her passion for pollinators. There's a queen in each of these cages. Concerns about the nationwide plight of the honeybee due to chemicals used on crops has sparked a surge of interest in backyard beekeeping. Dina says people know the bees are in danger and want to do their part. So here's a way where we can kind of help out. You get the benefit of the honey, as a side effect, but you're also helping bees. She's even turned her garage into a distribution site. Here's your buck fast. Every year, the South Central Alaska Beekeepers Association transports about 22 million honeybees from Northern California to the 49th state. I'm trying to get the kids into it. It gives them something to do in the summertime, and we like honey. There you go, good job. Perfect way of holding it. You won't get stung that way. In just the past decade, the group's membership has grown from dozens to hundreds. Dina says that's a good thing because bees are tremendously important to Alaska's agriculture and the food we enjoy. Pretty much everything we have in the grocery store requires a pollinator, and often honeybees are the pollinators. Beekeeping in Alaska takes hard work over a short season, and wintering the insects is no easy task. Still, the health and well-being of these fragile creatures is closely aligned with our own. Somebody had told me 20 years ago that I would be in love with honeybees. I said they were crazy. The bottom line, according to Dina, Alaska needs honeybees. For Harvesting Alaska, Shannon Ballard, KTVA 11 News. It will still be several weeks before honeybees in Alaska starts producing the sweet stuff. The honey harvest usually takes place in early August.